Good morning again, everybody. We picked this battle up sort of in progress because it actually was such a long battle that by the time it finished and I hit the DVR button, the DVR didn't even go back all the way to the beginning of the battle. So that's why this is such a long battle. It is a battle from the 24th of January. Another battle that I'm featuring as a video on the channel because ultimately you'll see it was a pretty darn good fight from start to finish. You'll also see the same old story with everybody waiting at the first cap and then somebody else just, yeah, whatever, I'm going in. Broken record. Anyway, I was able to obviously get in and take part in the capture too, so. You can see some of our teammates weren't quite able to get there, which always... Always is a little bit annoying because you can really, especially when their heavies coming up behind us, you know they're going to need the extra spawn points. But quite a quite a few of the team did get in on the capture, thankfully. So after that, it was time to move on and head for the C point, and then ultimately the B point and steamroll the enemy team. Except steamrolling was not going to happen. This was actually a really good fight, back and forth quite a bit, and I like those battles more than anything else. So a good lot of our team is moving through this center of the city and I'm trying to roll up along the right hand side and parallel them to get to the C point here. Check my left, make sure there aren't any uh, enemies sneaking up that way. Spot an M19 coming off of the C point, get a decent hit into him, start a fire. He starts shooting back, he damages my turret rotation, which is the uh, actual rotation at the elevation, which is good because I can kind of counteract that a little bit by moving the tank itself. He's marking me quite a bit. I knock him out, and then right as I start moving forward, I get consequently nailed by an M56 who was pretty close to me just to the side, and of course he gets killed two seconds later. Just a little bit too late, but at least he did get knocked out. So, capturing a kill. Not too bad. I decided to come back in my F6, F5N because it really needed... Um, upgraded air or ground weaponry, and in fact, it even needed upgraded just plain ammo belts for the main guns, which were actually pretty low, pretty low power stock belts still. So, you may not be able to tell on YouTube, I'm not sure, but there are four dots of enemy aircraft coming in, so I let the team know, hey guys... Look out, there's four enemy planes coming, so get yourselves behind some cover down there, finish taking the C point, and then try to hide. Because I don't know what kind of uh, anti-air capability they've got, but there's four of them, so there's got to be at least one of them's got some sort of anti-air. The Spitfire starts coming towards me, and then decide, thinks better of it, and I try to pull up and get some shots into a P-47. Got a couple hits into him, nothing really good, because again, the uh, ammo I'm firing is uh, not very... Not very good. I went into a dive to build my airspeed back up and just headed right in towards the uh, Quellian down here to cover me in case anybody was diving in after me while I built my airspeed back up. One thing you're going to see a lot with the F6, F5N in a stock configuration is it loses airspeed quickly and it doesn't like to regain it. So we lost the Quellian here to this P47 and I'm trying to get back around on him and my airspeed just, just bleeds off so quickly. You just get so slow in the F6F. Now that P47 crashed, it turns out that he was the one I damaged. So I got kill credit on him, although I don't think it probably was uh, correct. But could not quite get the nose up to fire at that second Spitfire gun coming in there. Well, the same Spitfire. And had to roll back down again to get my airspeed back up because I'm just so slow in this thing. It's not holding energy very well. Thankfully, nobody was coming in after me, and we had some uh, friendly air up as well to uh, keep the enemy team occupied as I tried to get my airspeed back. Yeah. 
You can see a couple of enemy anti-aircraft coming out of their spawn. I'm trying to move in and sneak up from below on this other aircraft coming into the battle, which is another F6F. And as, just like the last time, couldn't quite get the guns on him, although I certainly seemed to me like I should have had hits on him there. And that's actually a British Hellcat, and again, just no airspeed, no energy. And you have to go into a dive to try and build my energy back up, and this airplane does not like to pick up speed in a dive for some reason. Thankfully, again, I had teammates with me, as I just had no energy to... No airspeed over the elevators to get any sort of nose up, nose down with the elevators here. But the LA-9 that's near me is going to uh, finally finish off. Or actually, sorry, a DO-335B finished him off, and then I was able to return back to the battle. Diving back in again to try and build my speed up, and again, the uh, airspeed just doesn't pick up quickly in a dive here. So you can see something over at the B point there, some kind of a Sherman. I couldn't quite get the nose on him in time to strafe him as I went to change my aim back towards the center, and then when I committed back to strafing him, he got behind a building, so I missed him. So again, just trying to get my speed up in a straight line here before I haul back around, and look how quickly that airspeed just bleeds off in this turn. I was at 260 or 270 by the time I started the turn, and when I finished my 180 degree turn, I'm back down around 200 miles an hour. That is a ton of speed to bleed off. Now here comes an 82 Sky Raider, or an 84, a Sky Raider at any rate. And I'm going to roll back in on him, and again, you can see that my stock ammo, not doing a lot. Put on the combat flaps to try and maintain my uh, maneuverability here, and just try to get the guns up on him. Get a couple hits on him, again, the stock ammo not doing me any favors. Try to roll back down around on him, losing all my airspeed yet again. Can't quite get on him. We've got all kinds of airplanes flying around here. We're doing all right in the ground battle right now. Trying to come back over and help out this uh, 219 here. And pull up, get shots into him, do nothing, stock ammo. Frustrating over and over again in this battle. And again, just so hard to maneuver in this thing without having a huge amount of airspeed. And the best part of this battle at all right here, an OS-2. Hilarious. I got good hits on him. I critted him, but there's no indication as to what that critical hit was, and it doesn't seem to be affecting him too much, so... The Sky Raider makes a run on me. I manage to uh, make it away from him. The 219 comes in behind him. And along with all kinds of airplanes flying over, and then right as I'm leveling off, again trying to get my airspeed up with a pretty damaged engine, suddenly the Sky Raider flies right over the top of me, and I'm able to line right up on him. There he is. Do have enough energy to line up on him, finally. As I'm stalling out, I finally get enough hits into him to kill him. And my plane is just falling out of the sky here, and I've got no maneuverability whatsoever, and a Sherman finally takes me out. And whatever the critical hit was on that Kingfisher, it wasn't apparently critical enough to uh, send him into the ground, so. A lot of time in my F6F5, had two enemy air kills to show for it, and then came back in the AMX-13 to rejoin the ground fight. So I put artillery there beyond the sea point, hoping to cover our guy trying to capture sea. I couldn't quite tell if he was in the sea point or not. But he wasn't capping it, so I thought maybe he was having it contested. Had a momentary heart attack from that tiger being so close to me because I'd been fighting the Germans in my French tanks re just before this battle. And for a moment I thought, oh god, they're back in our spawn, but thankfully... He was a friendly. 
So got a hit with my artillery at B, which hopefully marked somebody for my teammate. And then I see that my two heavies back here by our spawn are marking somebody. And it turns out there is, in fact, somebody back by our spawn. So I don't know what it is, but I don't want to lose two tigers. And I'm going to head back and try to help them out because I really do not like it. Cannot stand it, in fact, when somebody goes for our spawn. Especially when the main battle is being contested. So even though I really want to go help our guys capture the C point and then at least hold those two, I'm going to come back here and help Dubstep over there and his Tiger too. So told them, go ahead, go forward, I'll stay back here and find this guy and take him out. I want you heavies up front to capture, but at the same time, I wasn't mad that I had uh, the other tiger back here to help me. So here a shot go off, you can see that uh, that was our tiger firing the second time, so I know the uh, enemy is up here. I get my scout binoculars on him, mark him, and right as my gun stops and stabilizes and I'm about to fire, he gets knocked out, and there we go. Get out of here, Spawn Raper. And then we turn around and head back up to the battle. All of our team, except for the other Tiger, my random squad mate who's heading over towards the uh, southeast village there, have been knocked out. But thankfully, you'll see on the minimap, we've got a whole bunch of new guys spawning back in. So we had a whole new wave of reinforcements come back. And even better, they all spawn at the same time. So we kind of have a little wave of reinforcements, not just one or two individual guys. And they're moving up towards the A point, so I can see uh, some sort of SPG getting marked over in the southeast, as well as another one get marked up at the A point, which I know is an M36 based on what I saw happen in the kill feed a moment ago. One of our guys got killed near A by an M36, so I know the guy at A is M36. I don't know what it is over in the southeast, but I see our heavy tiger going after it. There's the M36 getting knocked out at A. So I'm trying to come in from behind our enemies over here at the A point and capture them out. And then decided that we've got friendlies coming up towards A. I'm actually going to push up towards the C point and decap C and let our guys deal with the ones at A. Plus I can see a heavy over there to my right. So I'm going to push past A. Since I've made it past the enemies at the A point, I'm just going to get keep right on going and see if I can uh, decap the C point. And hope that my teammates can come get the A point and we can get the ticket bleed turned in our favor. Can also see our Tiger shooting at whatever the enemy heavy is off to my right. And I make it up to the C point and change my plan here and decided even more so I'm going to fire off my smoke. I'm going to drive right on through the C point and I'm actually going to continue onwards to the B point. And hope that my team can make it to A, and I'll see what I can do about taking away two of the enemy caps. And hopefully capture the B point and really force the enemy team to spread out. Now we lost my random squad mate in his Tiger H1 over near the village to the southeast, but uh, Dubstep is heading over there with his Tiger to go after whatever it is that's down there. I dropped artillery on the C point and then got strafed by some airplanes, so decided, okay, you know what, I've decapped the B point, I'm going to go back to C because not only am I getting strafed by somebody who's just going to keep strafing me and marking me, but I had artillery fired at me, which means there's somebody close enough within range and he's got to be heading in towards B. So I just abandoned B and head back for C and we've now turned the ticket bleed completely around, thankfully, as my teammates are taking A. And I'm nearly back to B myself. C, sorry. And there we go. We take the A point. We've got it cleared out. We lost dubstep down at the southeast. I missed what happened there. I saw it in the replay, but during the battle, I wasn't sure what happened. I did see that it was an M56 getting marked down there and killing people. So I knew it was an M56 down there. I just didn't see what happened to dubstep right here. I make it back into the C point. I'm waiting for my teammates to come up and join me here at the cap. Somebody shoots at me, misses me, but takes a tree down. So I knock down the tree behind it in order to give myself a little bit of cover. 
obscuring my movements, and then I'm going to push over and go after this guy because I'm kind of tired of this M56 taking out my team. Now that we're holding two of the three capture points and the other one is not captured, I'm pretty, pretty confident in going after the M56. The enemy team, of course, starts taking the B point back, but it's not really that big of a deal. We've got a guy closing in near it, and we've got a pretty good hold on the other two points, so... Wait for my binoculars to reload there, then move forward to where I'm pretty sure he's going to be, and then as I pull up, I see him moving up by the building. He does not see me, and I have time to aim carefully and get a good shot into him and knock out his crew. And that's the end of that little annoyance and threat, and I'm going to turn around and head back into the city. So we've got about twice as many tickets to re recover from here. And our team is now taking B, so good work there. That'll speed up the ticket bleed a little bit. You can hear some shooting going on back in towards the C point. I'm not entirely sure what it is. You can see an M36 get knocked out by a Tiger 2P there. So that's very good. I'm trying to get up and uh, help my teammate up here at the B point. Couldn't quite get my gun around on the enemy F8F. There's the OS2 getting killed, but I didn't get any kind of kill credit for him, so I'm not sure if he made it, was able to make it back and land and repair or what, but felt like if he landed, it should have counted as a crash landing, but maybe not. At any rate, they get into the C point. I'm going to pull in and uh, try to recapture the B point again. Get strafed again. Holding still here, hoping that I can finish off the capture hiding behind these bushes. managed to get the capture, thought about waiting for my smoke to recharge, decided I'd probably better get away from their closest capture point to their spawn instead and head back in for the C point. So that's what I did. So you notice uh, Dubstep is down where he'd been killed by the M56. He's looking for the M56 that had been there because he'd missed me killing it. So that's okay. It's understandable. But I did tell him that uh, I had knocked it out. Getting strafed again by some enemy flying over who thankfully didn't have any weapons that could really hurt me. They start capturing the B point. I put artillery on it. And as I start typing again, I drive up and get myself pinned and trapped on this building here, of course. But thankfully I was trapped inside a capture point and uh, alone there. I was able to extricate myself from this little predicament here before too long. Thankfully I was in a light tank that had just enough engine power to get me back up off the uh, rubble I was trapped on and then swing it back around and face down towards B and the uh, enemy tank that I expected to be coming from that direction. Calling for help, I can hear an enemy off to my side there and obviously it's not anybody who's friendly on the map. And coming up here in a second, you'll see pretty interesting coincidence. I'm going to take a hit and am instantaneously, exactly simultaneously rather, the M41 that shot me also got shot by a Panther G, which I didn't recognize during the battle and thought he had shot me and was still there, but it turned out that he'd been actually knocked out. So when the Panther comes around this corner here, I didn't realize that he was friendly a friendly coming and was trying to figure out where the heck I'd been shot from and then realized later that they must have knocked out whatever shot me. So I didn't notice how close we were to actually winning at this point and went to uh, reload my crew member, although I was down to crew, two crew members and it is still a pretty good idea. Our guys start taking some hits from what's right up there in front of them that had captured the uh, B point away from us, but really didn't matter here. We were holding both points and uh, were able to pull off the victory in a very long battle, and I had a pretty decent battle myself there.
long battle. It was a long road to victory, but it was a road that we were able to travel and arrive at ultimate victory in the battle. So, pretty fun. Ended up in second place with two tank kills, two ground target kills, two scouts, 23 hits, four zones captured, and 97,000 lines without even any boosters turned on. So, pretty darn good battle, ultimately, at the end there. Whole bunch of awards. Always nice to win and get the extra bonus. And uh, you can see all the kills there in the kill feed. And that'll do it. It's very nice to get the victory and get the 120% research and 67% line bonuses just for winning. That'll do for today. If you guys made it all the way to the end of this one, thank you for sticking it out. Have a great day, everybody. Take care, and we'll see you next time for more War Thunder.